Some interesting things about Baldwin is that it is the only city in the U.S. with its name. Other things to know about Chesterfield is that when it was incorporated as a city in 1988, the city formed within an annexation of several other communities that were located here prior. Chesterfield is an affluent St. Louis suburb that is about 20 minutes west of downtown. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't seen this already, there's a link down below that shows you an interactive map on all of the places that I've made videos on. It's really easy to use. All you have to do is click on the link to the map and then click on a pin that will take you to a link of said place. Chesterfield is the fifth largest suburb of St. Louis and is the second largest municipality in St. Louis County. The only one that's larger is the city of Florissant, which is in the North County area. Chesterfield consistently ranks as one of the best places to live in not only the greater St. Louis area, but in Missouri as a whole. This video will show you why. Well, let's get to it. Shall we? I do start the video in the suburb of Manchester. I end up driving through a few other suburbs before I get to Chesterfield and tell you about those places, so if you're watching this video just to see Chesterfield, scroll down and check out the timestamps below so that you can skip ahead to the part of the video that you might want to see. If you're unfamiliar with my videos, I do speed up my videos in order to show more in a less amount of time. You can always keep up with the real time that it takes me to drive in the lower left corner of the screen. If I go too fast for you or if you think that I'm going too slow, you can always adjust the playback speed by selecting the gear icon if you're watching on PC, or by selecting the three-dotted menu if you're watching on a mobile device. Isn't YouTube great? Also really quick, as if you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places like Chesterfield can be found in my Missouri playlist or in my St. Louis suburbs playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts and those links are below. We do start things off on Manchester Road in the city of Manchester. This road carries the original routing of US 66. Today the properties along Manchester Road as you can see are all commercial retail. Manchester is home to 18,000 residents and has a median household income of $78,000 per year. 55% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher and the median value of owner occupied housing units is $230,000. Both the violent and property crime rates here are below average and Niche.com gives the public schools here in A+. Seems like a great place to settle down in if you're looking to move to the area and if you're trying to stay away from the high prices of the other nearby affluent suburbs. Now we turn away from the main road and get into a residential area of Manchester for a moment, and as we turn the corner we see a couple of neat older homes. As is the case with most suburbs, there's not much history to Manchester. It was the first settlement that was founded along Manchester Road, which I guess justifies why the road is called Manchester Road. I mentioned that Manchester Road carries the original route of US 66, and last but not least, Manchester is named after Manchester, England, and there's really not much else to it from a historical standpoint. Now we are within the Baldwin city limits. Baldwin is home to 30,082 people and has a median household income of $99,000 per year. 56% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher, and the median value of owner-occupied housing units is $262,000. The crime rates in Baldwin are basically non-existent, and it's one of the safest cities to live in the state of Missouri. Just like with Manchester, the public schools are rated as an A-plus on Niche.com. And also just like Manchester, it's more affordable than several other affluent St. Louis suburbs that are out this way. And also just like Manchester, it shares the same school district which is the Parkway School District.
Locally, some people might know of Baldwin as the place where the local fast food chain called Lion's Choice began. Lion's Choice only has restaurants in the greater St. Louis area and in the Kansas City area. The lone exception is that there's a Lion's Choice restaurant in Columbia, Missouri, which is a decently sized city in the geographic middle of the state. This is Parkway West High School, home of the Longhorns. The high school serves the residents of Baldwin and the eastern parts of Chesterfield. The most notable alumni is August Bush IV, who is a former president and CEO of Anheuser-Busch. Chip Carey, broadcaster for the Atlanta Braves of the MLB. Blaine Gabbert, the backup QB for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the NFL. Stone Phillips, a former anchor on Dateline NBC. James Rollins, a successful author. Former NASCAR driver Ken Schrader. Singer Nico Smith, who's also the son of of MLB Hall of Famer Ozzie Smith, Travis Stork, host of the daytime talk show called The Doctors, and Tuck Watkins, a successful actor. If I didn't name your most cherished, successful person that attended high school here, get over yourself because I just named half a dozen of them. Next, I drive through more of Baldwin before heading back towards Chesterfield. Some interesting things about Baldwin is that it is the only city in the U.S. with its name. There's plenty of places in the country that have the name of Baldwin, however there is only one Baldwin, and it's right here. The city was founded by a man named John Ball. Ball was one of the first landowners in the West County area as the records of that trace back to 1800. The original route of U.S. 66, or today known as Manchester Road, passed through the area and that helped it grow early on. Therefore, there's a few buildings that have been put on the National Register of Historic Places off of Manchester Road. In 1837, the city was eventually founded. Other than that, there's not much to Baldwin from a historical standpoint. Some locals might want to argue with me, but let's face it guys, come on.
Once again, here is Manchester Road, which carried the original routing of US-66. If you've been watching this video all the way through, or you've seen my previous video, you should know that by now, as I've reiterated it many times. Now I break away from the main road once again and I start heading towards Chesterfield which is where I will be for the rest of this video. All in all, Baldwin seems like it's a great place to look at if you're wanting to buy a home, settle down, and start a family. In the West County area, however, you have quite a few options for that, and they all seem like they would be good options.
Now we have reached the city limits of Chesterfield, and within those city limits we will stay. Just like Baldwin, Chesterfield consistently ranks as one of the best places to live in Missouri when you factor in all qualities of life. Of course you have to be able to afford to live here, however. Chesterfield is home to 47,500 residents and has a median household income of $113,000 per year. 69% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher, and the median value of owner-occupied housing units is $380,000. Both the violent and property crime rates are well below average, and the public schools, just like all of the other suburbs out this way, are rated as an A-plus on Niche.com. The biggest downside to Chesterfield is the cost of living when you compare it to the other nearby suburbs, as for example, you can easily settle down in Baldwin or Manchester and live within just as good of public school districts. I guess that if you live in Chesterfield, you might be located a tad bit closer to better amenities and the freeways to take you into downtown St. Louis and beyond. Beyond. Earlier I showed you Parkway West High School, which is a part of the Parkway School District. This is Marquette High School, and it's a part of the Rockwood School District, which serves the western half of Chesterfield. Marquette's mascot is the Mustangs, and among the most notable alumni is NFL offensive lineman Dan Connolly, who is mostly known for playing for the New England Patriots from 2007 to 2014. In 2010, Connolly returned a kickoff for 71 yards against the Green Bay Packers, which is a record for an offensive lineman kickoff return and likely will stay that way for many years to come. MMA and UFC fighter Michael Johnson also went to school here. Chesterfield is the 14th largest city in Missouri, and the northern parts of the city is known as the Gumbo Flats, as the Missouri River serves as the boundary for the northern Chesterfield city limits. In the flats, you have a giant shopping center, an airport, and some farm fields. However, most of the city is located on higher ground away from the river. Other things to know about Chesterfield is that when it was incorporated as a city in 1988, the city formed within an annexation of several other communities that were located here prior. Other communities that used to occupy the land that is now Chesterfield includes Belfontine, Gumbo, Monarch, Bonhomme, and a town called Lake. Also with its location off of the Missouri River, there's a site in the western part of town that has artwork that dates back to 4,000 years ago as the Mississippian culture occupied this land. Here is Chesterfield Parkway, which forms a circle around the interchange of I-64 and State Road 340. This is the southwestern portion of the circle, and here is the Chesterfield Mall, which opened in 1976, and it appears to be in good shape as most large suburban indoor malls are. I also filmed this during the pandemic, so you might be laughing when you hear that as you see nobody here, but like I said, filmed during the pandemic.
Chesterfield is not only a center for shopping in the area, but it's also a center for office space. It's far enough away from downtown St. Louis that it can support the notion of being a center for office space. Among the top office employers in Chesterfield are Bayer, which employs over 1,000, Delmar Gardens Enterprises, which employs 900, Reinsurance Group of America, which employs around 700, a company called Amdocs, along with McBride & Sons Companies. Now we are in the southeastern portion of that circle, which is home to some office buildings along with some undeveloped land. Now I head away from the center and head towards Logan University and some of the residential subdivisions that make up the city before heading right back to the center. This is Logan University. It's a private and special focus university that focuses on chiropractic and other health sciences. Other colleges have merged with Logan University such as Carver College of Chiropractic from Oklahoma and the Missouri Chiropractic College. The school mascot is the Leopards. The school used to participate in athletics but hasn't done so since the 2010-2011 season. As you can imagine, the school is not necessarily based around athletics but more so around chiropractic academia.
they prove your love No fears or regrets Just take the jump Here on the right is a place called Faust Park, which has botanical gardens, an indoor butterfly garden, a museum, and an outdoor village made of log cabins. I'm sure it's a cool place to visit if you haven't done so yet. Now we're back on Chesterfield Parkway, the road that circles around the center of the city, and it looks like this is a brand new office building based off of Google satellite photos. We're on the northeast side of the circle and this part is made up of office buildings and a large apartment complex. I do end the video up ahead at the Chesterfield Commons, which is supposedly considered to be the longest strip mall in the world. The stores along the strip mall are basically all of your national big box retail chains plus a few others. For instance, I end the video in the parking lot of a Target. Nonetheless, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the other featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places like Chesterfield can be found in my Missouri playlist or in my St. Louis suburbs playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!